My name's Darren from RC Scale Models, and I have another kit for you today. Um, it's Tamir's 148 scale Grumman F4F4 Wildcat. Kit's been around a while now. Um, it's their kit number number 34. You've got one of the designs on this side of the box from USS Ranger. Uh, there's this side of the box. You've got another design from US. Um, can't pronounce that. There's just a, a, a bluey coloured one. Um, let's take a look what we're going inside. I do have a uh, Edward canopy mask for this. You get your canopy, one screw of wings, and your second screw, which contains your fuselage and everything else. Minimal parts, very easy kit to build. Um, hardly, hardly any parts, so it's a quick, simple quick kit to do. And you've got your instructions and very basic decal sheet as well. Um, I'd, I'd use these roundels, but this stripy bit, if I decide to do that one, I'll probably end up painting those on. Um, no instrument panel de de decals or anything, so you have to do the dry, dry brushing technique and stuff. Um, so yeah, a little bit of information on the uh, aircraft if you wish to read that. Pause it, and same again in Japan language. That's a pull-out page. Um, I'm going to move the camera, guys. So, up the top you get your colour callouts. Obviously it's going to be Tamir because it's Tamir kit, but you're going to have to match them up if you don't use Tamir. So your first step is working on the sides of the fuselage halves, um, painting up the si inside, which should be interior green, and all the dials and stuff will be calling out for black. And then, because uh, there's obviously uh, an older kit and stuff, it's the old technique of doing dry brushing and stuff. Um, some pouches, I believe that's like a brownie colour. F49 is khaki, sorry, for the pouches. Um, but then they're saying sandwich the fuselage halves together from step one and putting your flaps and tail on. Um, unfortunately, it's all uh, fixed, so you have to uh, can't pose it or anything. And then you're working on the actual cockpit itself. Uh, as I say, the uh, instrument panel up top is um, one piece, but you have to do dry brushing technique and stuff again. Inside of the cockpit is the interior green. Um, you've got the cushion behind the pilot head, which would be F1, which is uh, calling out for flat black. Um, you've got parts of the in instrument panels as well, be flat black again, but then you want to dry brush it and stuff. You're not going to see an awful lot of this because the canopy is quite tiny. You've got an oxygen bottle at the back behind the passion uh, pilot. There's no seat belts or anything, but you can get aftermarket for this. But when I come to build it, I'm just going to do this straight out of the box. Building up the all the fuselage section, you've got the front firewall going on. They're asking out for FX2, um, which is white, but to the right uh, reference, it turns out to be Grum and Grey, but the closest you get to Grum and Grey is um, to Tamiya uh, will be Natural Grey or Cold Grey. Um, you don't want it too bright because it's a uh, military aircraft and it's going to be worn and weathered. So I wouldn't go with the white, I'll go with the light grey. Um, Put up the frame for the inside, and then you set, drop in the uh, cockpit from underneath. And then step four is sandwiching your wings together, painting the inside again with FX2, which is white, but I'll go with the gold grey. Putting on some covers and putting your exhaust system in. Um, and then you drop in your fuselage half on top of your wings. Uh, 
And then you're working on your basic engine, it comes in two halves, and then you've got a poly cap to put in because you can make the propeller spin, which is a nice bonus. The front of the engine is F56, which is grey. Yeah, um, metallic grey. And the engine they're calling out for X10, which is gloss black. But I'll I'll do probably like a gun metal or something and dry brush it with silver and stuff like that and whatever, um, and detail it that up that way. Uh, put a new engine on and then you cowl in the inside of the cowl in. They're asking for the white, but I'll do that the gold grey again. And your basic landing gear. They're asking for the legs to be. Uh, white but I'll do that the gold grey the bottom of the landing gear they're asking for X18 which is um, gloss black but I wouldn't do that because it's too bright it's going to be worn and faded so you're better off probably using a uh, like a, a not flat black but like um, nail black or something which has got a bit more grey in it um, building up your landing gear Putting your wheels on, which should be done in rubber black. They're asking for FX1 because it's an older kit, which is flat black, but I wouldn't use that now. I would use a uh, rubber black from Tamir. It should be um, FX85, which is more, more rubbery, which is a uh, so you can tell it's an older kit because some of the paints and and not are in there, and obviously you're gonna have to change it. You can put your fuel tank on, um, or drop tank, I should say, teardrop tank. <coughs> um, putting your landing gear in from underneath, which is a nice bonus. So you can do all this without having to do do as one piece. You can paint it up and do it separately. Putting your teardrop tanks on if you wish to have them, or you can have them off so it looks like they've been dropped. Uh, but me, I'll stick them on. The more more you can get on an aircraft without looking stupid, the better it'll be, in my opinion. <coughs> um, putting your propeller on, which is uh, X18, they're calling out for... Um, where is it? X18 gloss black for the propeller, but I probably wouldn't do that. I'll, I'll do a faded one, so it'd probably be flat black, probably. X8 is the yellow tips. Um, and then they're calling out for the center is X11 and X6 mixed together. 1, 1, 50, 50, 50, 50. Um, X11 is chrome and X6 is orange so they're, they're asking for the center of the hub to be a a, a chromey orange strangely enough i wouldn't have thought that i thought that just would have been chrome i might actually check the reference for that because that doesn't seem right <coughs> if you look at the box on the stuff it's actually silver so, but um chromey orange doesn't seem right to, at all Uh, you got one of your call outs. Um, again, they're asking to mix the colours um, to make up uh, FX8, 18, and FX2 is medium blue mixed with white to make up, make a different shade of blue. But I've got. Uh, naval colours by Tamir, uh, not by Tamir, by um, Vallejo, so I'm going to be using this for this kit, which has all the navy colours on the back, the, the correct shade of colours and stuff, so I wouldn't, wouldn't, be, go, wouldn't be going through these colours, but um, if you wish to do, do it like they say, then you can do, but I'm not going to do that. Um, there's another call out. I did mark them down in a different shade because they um, bought out other colours 
to me when they first done this they obviously didn't have those colours but now they have so the equivalent of these colours being mixed is now um these are Mr Hobby colours sorry the H's um they're the same again then the navy colours but I'm gonna use the uh Vallejo colours for this In this bag you get <clears throat> on this sprue you get your engine cowling it's got nice detail panel lines and rivets um, you can tell it's a bit of an older kit because uh, you've got a mixture of recessed panel lines but raised rivets I suppose it probably would be like that but nice detail all over um, your wings again raised rivets there's part of the engine and then the other half which goes together there's your interior there's your instrument panel there's the cockpit floor there's the front of the engine your pe 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 pedals your uh, flight stick uh, some interior detail the other few drives half again nice detail even though it's an older kit um, there's that firewall like I say I, they recommend to do it in white but I would do it in, in a uh, gold grey or something your propeller your seat some more in, in, inter, internal details which is nice and the other sprue contains your wings top tanks, wheels, landing gear um, again it's strange though you've got mixture of raised and recessed rivets on, on, on the top it's, it's strange it's a mixture of half and half but again the detail is good but it's strange how they've done it and on the bottom the detail is really good but again you've got a mixture of raised and recessed um, I don't know if it's meant to be like that but either way the detail is still good uh, you get one piece wheels which is but nice touch I do like that so you don't get no seam line and and it's less work your landing gear is nicely molded minimal parts should go together quite quickly this kit um, I fancy building a kit quite quickly but high detail but quick if you know what I mean so I'm going to be starting this pretty soon so there you go guys there's a um, 148 scale by Tamir Grumman F4F Wildcat like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.